Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome back everyone to the channel. Yeah. We got something super exciting today. We're gonna be making lunch. Yes. So, we wanna show you what we're cooking. Tell them. We're making beef stew. Not our first time. That's so, our favorite. That's, yeah, we wanna try it again because it came out so well the last time we didn't even think to make a video. We're yeah. like, let's make a video and show them what we did. Mm -hmm. So. We got the beef. Got the beef, a good set just for us, really. So yeah. we're gonna be washing it. Well, we're gonna. I'm gonna see if anything else needs to be cut or whatever. It's pretty fresh, very fresh actually. Just got it. So mm -hmm. uh, let's see here. Oh, nice and tender. I know Abigail don't really like the fatty parts. So, Do you? If you like it, you can uh, keep it. Uh, not really. I'm, I'm like, not a fan of the fatty part. I'm not really part. a fan of it too much. I'm like, it's fine, but I'm, I am i don't really care for it, honestly. People, man, they love that part. We got the rice boiling, the pressure pot for the beef. Let's see. I know some people like the bone too. The only time I care for bone, I know this is just tiny bone, but I care for bone is in pepper pot, man. That is be, that is be the thing. We don't like big cuts of meat either. We like like small, yeah, pieces of size. Small. No, oh, you can leave that. That's a little piece. We're gonna be washing the meat so it's nice and clean. Um, that's why we were able to. Um, we did it the last time and it was the same thing. And we we're like, let's try it again. We'll make a video this time, show you guys. And the same thing, it don't smell weird or anything, you know, to gross you out. We're also gonna add some beans, red kidney beans. This is this is all my ingredients here, and some black eye beans and potatoes. So it's gonna be a lot. So I have all my seasoning ingredients prepped here. I'm about to chop these up, and the meat is done here. Washing, done washing here. Yeah, we're about to put it in the uh, pressure pot. So. Have it tenderized nice mm -hmm. in there. That's what we did the last time, so we're basically just doing that again. Mm -hmm. Adding in the meat. Yep. And then we'll cap it off. Give it about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes pressure. And um, that should be good. That, that should make it nice and tender. Yeah. That's about what we did the last time, so we're just going to repeat that. These uh, pressure pot make life easier. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> so we're gonna add that beans in as well with the beef to Black be pressured. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this is because how these beans they take so hard when you boil them. Mm -hmm. Gonna throw it in there, and that pressure pot is gonna. You know, I actually pass. like that black eye beans, and he likes the red yeah, kidney I like beans. Those. Yeah. I know some people don't put those red kidney beans in there because it, it changes the flavor, but we did that the last time and it tasted so good, so we're just going to do it again. I'm turn it off and now we're going to lock it in and let that thing pressurize. 10 15 minutes and it's very going to be tenderized. Good. Line it up, right. Mm -hmm. And for pressurizing meat, so you want it on that side. Let's like that, like that. Chopping up my green onions. Oh, this is gonna be so freaking good. Oh, yeah, man. I can't, can't wait. wait. Can't wait. 
pepper is choking me. That pepper is hot, apparently. Mm -hmm. It's hotter. Ghost pepper or like habanero? I don't really know. I never ghost, really. Ghost did. pepper. That's why it's called ghost. That's why it's called ghost. Yes. Just because that's hotter. I don't think so. I think habanero is hotter. I don't know. What do you guys think? Or what is the actual truth? So he's looking for the peeler to peel the potato. So I'm taking a seat. I like like to peel things with knife. With, with a knife, then why do we got a peeler then? What's the I that? don't like to use oh a peeler to peel potatoes or vegetables or anything like that. He needs a peeler for everything that he peels. She's so guy needs. I am. Look <laughs> at me. <laughs> Peeling it over there. Taking your first cut. See, all you gotta do is rub it on there. See, boom, baby. That are right, done. And I only put three potatoes for the stew. He was like, "No, put the whole back potato in the stew." No, <laughs> yes, you totally, said that. Totally you said put the whole back potato in the stew. Totally exaggerated. That's how much we love potatoes. I won't lie, we love a lot of potatoes. Uh, but I said three will do us fine because it's only two of us. So I have. I keep all. Our little uh, things like this, all the organic stuff that breaks down naturally. I did make a compost box a couple weeks back and I dump everything in there that's organic that could break down. <coughs> and um, yeah, I hope we can have some really good soil in the next you know, year or so, next few months once everything is broken down and turns super rich. So, and anything like all our old strawberries that went bad and stuff, I throw all that in there now instead of throwing it in the garbage. I think it's a little more environmental friendly. So, so we ending up putting four potatoes. This is a lot of potato. Look, look at the both sides. That ain't a lot. For two people, that is a lot. That ain't a lot. She's over exaggerating. Uh, yeah, now. four potatoes instead of three potatoes. So. <laughs> Husband duty call. Husband duty call. He washed us all the dishes. <laughs> and the pressure is starting to steam here. Alright. I think we are done. I'm scared. No, nah, it's just steam. Oh, okay. There we go. Nice. Oh, that's some good broth right there. Dude, I'm sure people drink that broth. Yeah, they do. They actually throw it back in whatever they're going to make, like soup. And... No way. Yeah. Wow. Okay, well, it's all done, so we just gotta strain it and get our curry going. So we're checking if, ooh, ooh that's tender. That oh. broke up like nothing, look at that, look how tender that is. Yeah. That literally, I didn't even have to put I'll it on taste force. it. So you know what time it is. Yep, time to add it all together. Yep. Here we got it, and there, we got some ingredients. Mm -hmm. All my stuff is already Everything. open. Because when you start cooking, your hands tend to get dirty sometimes, and I don't like touching my bottles and stuff like that with my dirty hands. So yeah. I just prepped and opened all of my bottles, and then that was just fry up in there and get brown a little bit. All right, we adding in all the greens. You've added some other stuff in there so far. So right. I'm going to be adding in my potatoes because first, I'm going to add my potato first because my meat is tender. I'm going to let it fry up a little bit and then add my meat. Adding in some more stuff, getting the mixture all mixed. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Already starting to look good. Yep. Here's just some particular model. It smells so good. We're gonna let fry up a bit. And then we're gonna throw in our meat. Let it fry. Throw in our water. Let it cook. And that'll be that. Throwing in our meat. See, that looks so a little bit because he wants a lot of potato. So okay, that's, that's like fine. That. It's fine. That's how we It'll like still work. it. It'll work. Yeah. Maybe we could have gotten a little bit more, but the... No, that was just enough, but the potatoes are a lot. The yeah, potato that. might melt a little bit, but hey, wouldn't you rather have some extra potato than not have some extra potato? 
Yeah, like I said, once you have the gravy and the potato, that works you can, good enough. You can eat that, yeah. and that will be good. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah. So my stew is bubbling. So that's looking good. My potatoes are all... They're soft, but it needs to go a little bit more. My stew is finally done. See all of that? Carrots, beans, potato. It's finished. I'm going to be taking this down. I'm here by myself because Steven went outside to cut the grass. So it's really nice outside. The sun is out. Are you hungry? Uh, is the food done? Yep. Where are you eating? I like eating outside. I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna eat. Are you gonna pause? And then resume later? Okay. Not later. Not Fifteen minutes. minutes. Yeah. Sure. Okay. This is our food. That looks so delicious. Oh, we did. Very demure. <laughs> Very tasty. <laughs> it's good? It's oh, yeah, house pepper, good. right? No, uh, it's not too much pepper. Mm -hmm. That is a lot of flavor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We did good. So this is the compost box that yeah. he built. I can't believe he built this thing. This thing is so heavy. Yeah, it's pretty hefty with the wood and stuff like yeah. that. Not the prettiest thing, but hey, it does the job. That's all. So we got all our organic stuff, and I already got grass and stuff like that in here. So. I actually never seen it myself. This is my first time looking in here. So that's what you do, and I come out here about maybe once a week or so and turn it over. Turn it over, meaning got my shovel. You gotta always turn it, turn it. Mm -hmm. Put up the old stuff on the bottom because the old stuff would have broken down by now. I mean, like, I just, I'm cutting grass, so I already dumped my first set of grass in here, but, you know, I don't know. Got your eggshells, you got everything. Put everything in. And you just turn it, you know, and it'll all break down eventually, and it will become, you know, mold. That's freshly and grass that you just cut. Yeah, that's fresh grass, so I'm still cutting grass. I haven't finished just yet, but, you know, like, down here, just a couple weeks ago, it was, um, I threw some rotting food and stuff like that, you know, all our, um... But it decomposed already? Yeah, definitely, it decomposed already. A you can't skin. throw meat, no meat of any kind. So, no meat, because that's not organic. Um, but every, anything that decomposes and turns to mold, dump it in. So this should be ready and, for next year. Yeah, this should definitely be ready for next year. A lot of this is actually not, it was all already decomposed stuff. And then you just, it started breaking down. And that's it. So. This <laughs> is so cool though. Why are you covering your nose? It don't even smell. Because like I feel like, um, it smells like grass. something went in my nose. <laughs> like dust is in my nose. It smells like grass. So mainly why I did this was because um, I think it's more organic to have your own um, soil and stuff like that rather than going to Home Depot or wherever to buy soil every year when you're ready to do gardening. You got your own thing that's already been decomposed organically from whole foods and stuff like that and you just take that soil and now you do your gardening and you buy your new um, plants. So that's why I've always wanted to do one of these, and I see a lot of folks do this stuff too. Um, and you get some really rich soil, you know? That's what they call it's organic. When they say it's organic, that's what they mean. Is that these type of stuff was grown from an organic base like this. So I think it's just healthier, and you don't waste all that much, you know? Throwing away your old foods that's rotted and stuff like that. You save it, throw it in here, breaks down naturally. 
and becomes some good soil for the use.